Hi, YouTube. Hey, YouTube friends and family. It's your boy, GB Reviews. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to hook up your new router, or excuse me, your new cable modem. I'm upgrading my speed in my house, and so my old router, or my old modem, only supported speeds up to 250 megabits per second. This new router, which is the Motorola Doxis 3.1, will support up to one gigabit of data transfer up and down. So I'm going to change it out. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. And it should be pretty straightforward. The first thing you have to do, and, and they have a number you call, and once you do the number, they, once you do, you call the number, they will send you a link, and then you have to go into your account and activate it. So it should be activated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook everything hook this one back up and hopefully this one won't work so we'll see so let's get at it so the first thing i have to do is i have to unhook the old wireless router so i'm going to take everything out and i'm unplugging all of the cords and so ooh, that's why they gave me the wrench all right i gotta go get a wrench i'll be right back So in the packet, which I was like, why did they give you a wrench? The wrench is so you can unconnect or disconnect the uh, unhook, disconnect the um, coax cable from the back of the old router and then reconnect it to the new router. And apparently it's tighter than just hand tight, which it seems. And I guess that's just so they want to make sure that you have the best connection. So I'm going to take this wrench and I'm going to take this loose. And it should only be... So, righty tidy, lefty loosey. Um, we'll see if I'm coordinated enough to do this. I mean, my goodness. When you think you're coordinated, but you're not, that's when I'm, I'm realizing that I'm not very coordinated. Oh, there we go. There it go. It's loose now. And this wrench actually works pretty well. So I'm taking this off. And I want to make sure I'll, the reason you want to also make sure you use the wrench is because you don't want to like bend the pins because this is the pin coming out of my wall connection. So you can see, and I don't want to bend it. So my old router, or excuse me, my old modem, uh, similar to the new one, it's much smaller, as you can see, um, which is interesting because this one is much smaller than the one that I thought I could install, which is the uh, the wireless um, router plus modem. And so this is just this new one is just a modem. So we're gonna connect this, taking out the packet, and we're gonna reconnect the cable first because that's what they tell you to do. Reconnect the cable first. And then I'm going to make sure, once I reconnect this, that it's one more tighter than hand tight. So right now it goes on pretty easily. And then I'm going to take this, my handy wrench, and I'm going to just tighten it one more time. Once I get it on, but like I said, this wrench is like... You don't want to bend the pins. <clears throat> then the new power plug, the new power supply is also larger. So make sure you, even though they will fit, this will fit. It's the same as the old one. Um, they are a little bit different. This one has, I guess, more power, I guess. Um, and so we're going to just connect this. And um, they give you Velcro too, so you can like, clean up your cable so you can make sure they're all tied together but um what i did before is i zip tied them but if you keep these little ties you can just tie everything back together and so i'm going to hook up the power so we're hooking up the power and then i'm going to plug in the land cable and i'm leaving my other thing unplugged still 
and then there's a power button to actually turn it on. So I'm going to turn it on. So all the lights on the back should come on. Very interesting. It looks like it actually underneath there, there are other Ethernet ports. And I wonder if I can use those. I'll read the instructions, but I don't, I don't really need them right now. But it's powering on. So hopefully once it powers on and I hook my uh, Google Wi-Fi back up, it'll work. So I'm hoping for the best. But you never know with technology. Um, so right now I'm getting all these lights. I'll show you the lights so you can see what I'm talking about. So on my modem, these lights are hopefully working. I mean, not working, but hopefully once it connects to the internet, which it should do, it says, it said 30 minutes, but I'm hoping that it will work faster than 30 minutes. I'm going to let it go. And then I'm going to come back to you guys once this is all, all these lights are on. So all these lights here should all light up. The little circle right here shows that you actually connect to the internet. So right now it's downloading whatever software it needs to download and, and it'll say, hey, you upgraded equipment, blah, 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 blah. So it's, it's talking to the system. And then once that's all done, then this internet light will come on and then it'll show me that my ethernet port is active and then everything should work after that. So I'm not gonna plug my Google Wi-Fi back in until this is completed. And then once, once I notice that that's completed, then we'll continue again because it may take 30 minutes, so. All right, uh, we'll be back soon. A few moments later. All right, so now the internet light is on, so showing upstream, downstream is working, and the internet light is on. So if I plug my Wi-Fi router back in, it should reconnect, hopefully. And then I should see, see, the ethernet port is now active. So once this is working properly, everything should go back to normal and I should actually achieve the download speeds and upload speeds that I want. So we're gonna find out if this works, but it looks like it's working. And my Google Wi-Fi is talking to it, the port, and then things should start to flash and hopefully it works properly. So we're gonna check it out. We'll see what happens and um, I will update you in a second once I can check my network to see if everything is working. 2,000 years later. All right, so the network seems to be up and running, like I said, and then we're gonna do a speed test to see how fast the, the network is, right? So we're gonna see if my network is actually working. So we're gonna speed test it. This is through the Wi-Fi, and then we're gonna do a speed test through the hardwire connection as well, so. Speed test looks good so far. Now I should have a one gigabit connection, but again, this is wireless. So I'm gonna do a few tests just to see. So right now, now remember my previous speeds from my old router were capped at around 250. And so now I should be getting one gigabit or close to one gigabit download and then somewhere between 30 and 40 upload. So, and it looks like I'm getting the 40 Again, this is wireless, so I'm getting the 40 upload. I'm getting about 419 downloads. So let's we're gonna do it again just to see how quickly it works. Um, yeah, 450, 500. We broke the 500 mark. 526, 530. So it's looking good. This is this is good. So we're gonna go test the hardware. So. 550 is awesome. I don't even, I mean, like, to me, that's moving from 1980 to 2000 for me, 2019, I should say, because my connection was was fast, but it wasn't like ridiculously fast. And now it seems ridiculously fast. So that's good. So now we're going to go to the other computer and test that. And this is the hardware computer. So remember, this is my wireless. So we're going to test the hardware. So let's go. Do so now we're at the hardware connection and, um, you know, I'm gonna just give a quick shout out to my son, Gabriel, he built this computer, but hardwired connection, we're gonna see how fast this is. Hopefully it's faster because it's hardwired. And again, this is a, an active demonstration to show you that 
hardwired might be always faster than um, wireless and it seems to be faster. We're already above six, seven, eight. Uh, can we get to nine? We're at nine. Can we get to one gigabit? No, we're not gonna get there, but we're close. 940. And then my my like I said, my down my upload speed should be between 30 and 40, and I'm getting around 40, so that's good. So the hardwire connection is good. I check my Wi-Fi network and that's good. So I think we are good to go. So all in all, the process was pretty painless. I mean, I had to do some recycling, recycling through the power of the modem to get my Google Wi-Fi to work and then had to recycle through some things or cycle, it's not recycle, cycle through the power again. So I had to unplug it and cycle through the power to get it to, um, to detect certain things, but it was all night. I did all that off screen because it was just kind of a little bit of a hassle. But all in all, it was good to go. Um, simple process to upgrading your router yourself. Like I said, it will save you, you know, money in the future. You, you know, the forty dollars that you uh, would have paid, I would have paid for a technician to come. I actually saved that. Plus, I'm saving on the router that I own versus the rental fee, which is actually now I just checked with the Xfinity. Their rental fee for their modem is $11 a month. So I'm saving $11 a month, even though I paid. So this router was 169, oh, excuse me. This cable modem was 169 compared to the one I bought yesterday, which did not work uh, because the speeds were too slow. Um, and that was uh, capped at 600 through Xfinity. This one will get me close to one gigabit. This is fine for me. Really, I'm more concerned about the upload stuff just because I'm trying to put up content for you guys. But that's it for today. Uh, this is your boy GB Reviews. Subscribe, like below. Let me know what you think of that install. I, you know, my, uh, my technical ability is increasing every time I do one of these videos for you guys. So I'm going to try to continue to do more. Again, this is a kind of a do-it-yourself uh, series of things because I just want people to know that you don't have to be afraid to try to install these things. And again, you know, as you get older, I am I am more keenly aware of why when I was younger, you know, my, my mom uh, was like, oh, can you set the clock on the VCR? And I was like, why do you ask me to do this? It's so easy. Listen, as you get older, as I said in another video, life takes over and your mind has just a lot of things to think about. So that's why it just seems harder. But it actually is the same level of difficulty when you're younger as when you're older, you just have more things to think about when you're older. So anyway, your boy GB Reviews, subscribe, like below, hit the notification bell, and I appreciate any comments or feedback on this video. That's it for today, it's your boy GB. I'm out. Subscribe, but like, but no.